Guru Nation, welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. So I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to answer a quick question before I leave today. First of all, it's been a busy day, busy week. We're going to have a vlog. I haven't been doing the vlogs lately. We're going to have a vlog going up on Friday, hopefully, because it's been a ridiculously crazy week. I've had a CRA visit Monday uh, as a CRA. Uh, Tuesday, we had SSV. Then Wednesday, today was all about patient recruitments and in the meantime, we've had a CRA student interns at both of our sites, and uh, then we have another SSV coming up. So lots of stuff to talk about, lots of stuff to show on the vlog. But I wanted to answer a question, and I think it's a simple one, but for those that are just starting out, you know, and I realized I never had one of these videos on YouTube. So it's what's the difference between a CTA and a CDA, okay? So what's the difference between a CTA, which is a clinical trial agreement, all right, versus a CDA, which is a confidentiality disclosure agreement, okay? CTA versus CDA. So they sound alike. If you're not careful or if you say it fast, they sound like they're the same thing, right? Well, they're different. So the CTA is a clinical trial agreement. It is a contract between the sponsor or the CRO and the site. Okay, that's all it is. It's a contract. Um, without a contract, uh, the site's not going to get paid. So the only way to get paid or to ensure that the site is going to get paid is to have an executed CTA clinical trial agreement. Now, a CDA. DA confidentiality disclosure agreement is given to the sites by the sponsors or CROs in order for them to share information that's confidential, hence the name confidentiality disclosure agreement, share confidential information with the site about the protocol so that the site and the investigator can make an informed decision on whether they think they can participate in the study or not, and then how many patients they estimate they could be able to screen and randomize in the study. So very simple, very simple video. It's not going to take long. CTA, clinical trial agreement, CDA, confidentiality disclosure agreement. Both are documents given to sites from sponsors, although both can also be used between sponsors and CROs. But for the sake of this person's question and 90% of the people watching, Sponsors give the sites both CTAs and CDAs. So thank you for sending your questions in. Keep them coming. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com and we'll be in touch soon. Take care.